pork and apples go hand in hand. So I am getting started on my pulled pork sliders with an apple slaw on top. So I'm gonna season both sides of my house seasoning. That is salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. And to this pot right here, I have two large onions that I have quartered and that's going to sit at the bottom. And so once these juices from the pork shoulder kind of drip out as it cooks, the onions are gonna sit in those juices and that's gonna be a part of the slider. Mm. I need to wash my hands before I make my braising liquid. All right, so I have my braising liquid here, a little apple cider and chicken stock. Pork shoulder, apples, slaw, screams the fall. So I am going to heat this up a little bit, get that braising liquid bubbling. And while that does that, I am going to make my apple slaw to go along with those pork sliders. I have some matchstick carrots here, some cabbages, Tuscan kale, and of course, beautiful apples. So I'm just gonna tuck it in tightly, and I'm gonna julienne, cut in thin strips. I'm gonna now cut my cabbage. I have green and purple cabbage. And I'm just mixing it up for a little color. I have two apples here. Of course, I'm gonna cut around the core and I'm going to leave the skin on for a little texture. You wanna slice that in half and just slice really tiny. Little matchstick, see? Just like the carrots. So I'm adding apples to this slaw because it's gonna add a little bit of sweetness and texture. I am going to add my carrots to the bowl as well. So that's carrots, cabbage, apples, and some kale. Now I'm gonna make a simple dressing for this slaw. So I've got some mayo, a little Dijon mustard, bringing in some of that mustard flavor from the pork shoulder, a little apple cider vinegar. It's all about the apples today. And this is gonna be a tangy and a little sweet slaw. The sweetness is gonna come from the natural sweetness of the apples. A little salt and pepper. And a little honey to balance out the acidity from the vinegar. There we go. Now I'm gonna pour my dressing. Give it one more mix. All right, so that's mixed up. I'll put that to the side. I'm gonna cover this and let it sit in the oven. It's on 300 for a few hours. You know, the longer this cooks, the softer it gets and the easier it pulls apart. My pork shoulder has been in the oven for a few hours now. Because I've been cooking it low and slow, it's shredding like butter. Uh, the pork is gonna soak up all of those juices. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna turn my heat off and build my sliders. I have some toasted pretzel buns here, and I've buttered them as well. I'm gonna put my pulled pork shoulder at the bottom on that buttered bun, and it's gonna soak up all of this braising liquid. Take some of that slaw and put it right on top. Close it off and give it a bite. <laughs> wow, that pulled pork literally melts in your mouth. And then the slaw on top, it's a little sweet and it's a little tangy. And then the pretzel bun is just the perfect vehicle for this goodness.